Hello guys, I'm back. Took a week off. Needed a bit of a rest. Needed to do some stuff around the home and all that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to bore you with that. But what are we doing today? Woo. You can tell I've taken a week off, can't you? Sorry about the audio. This is the day after Storm Brian. So it's still a bit windy and I'm in the woods. And as most of you at this time of the year, I'm looking for that autumnness. Probably not a word, but I'm using it. And if you use it in the future, it's my word. You got it from me. So yeah, here we are. Lewis Down Woods, near Broad Windsor in Dorset. So, oh, I'm out with, uh, I'm out with my stepdad again. He's, um, he's sort of the brains behind all the mapping and the walking. He's, he knows, knows the area. And I basically just turn up, start doing videos. So it's been great. But, whew, I am knackered. It, it won't seem much, but yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't take a week off, Lee. Keep going, Lee. So what are we doing? Yes. We are just out. We are just having some fun. We're just walking around up through this. There's a lot of silver birch, silver beach, silver something. Um, and I was assured that is a good little walk. He's not wrong. So far it is good. And there's loads of autumn colour around, which is fantastic. So, good to be back. I'm going to keep wandering, see what we can find, and uh, have some fun. Let's go see what we can get, shall we? Let's go. Found this little composition. Um, I'm going to play around this area, to be honest. So, as you could just see, this lovely... Uh, Ah, it's like a branch that's entwined all up the way through. It's, it's gorgeous, but now, I've struggled with these sort of shots before in the past. Now, I'll tell you why. Because I'm shooting up, because I want to get that, you know, the length of it and sh show you everything, capture everything. The thing that I have a problem with is when there's a lot of white coming through the top, sometimes it blows out the dark. Now, I'm not... It's, it's frustrating and I'm sure I can do something about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opportunity to do that. So let's have a look at it because it's a lovely shade of green. There's, there's moss growing over it. I think it's really interesting. I hope it comes out well. So what I'm going to do at first is, see I should have done all this before I set you guys up and started talking to camera. But why do that? Why not make it more difficult for yourself, Lee? Much more interesting. So, I'm gonna drop down the ISO 100. I'm on f4.5 because I just wanna try and get a bit of depth of field in it. But that means I have an exposure Yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad. So, for the darks, for the dark side. No Star Wars pun intended. Sorry. We are on 150th of a second. We are on f4.5 and I have ISO 100. I am focusing on the tree, uh, on, the, on the trunk itself. We should be about there. I'm going to make sure I'm on a two second timer. So that is now set. So I've looked at the histogram. The histogram is nice and even, apart from that, obviously there's a real peak at the whites because there's so much blue and white coming through. Um, but I have got some blue up there, so I'm gonna hurry up and get this shot. So, first shot. Again, 150 FF 4.5, ISO 100, two second timer. Think I got it. Gonna do another one, just in case there was any camera shake, but I'm pretty sure that was good. Nobody's losing Faces merge and change But your face remains the same Swallows will be... So there you go. 
I'm, I'm happy with that, I quite like it. Um, now what I'm going to do, just because I can, and just because I'm here. Now I've got, I haven't got a macro lens, okay? Do I need a macro lens? No, probably not. But what I did do is a bit of a substitute. You can buy macro ring adapters. I think they're called extension tubes. Now I've got a couple here that will fit on my Sony. So it fits between the camera body and the lens. And it allows you just to get that bit closer in um, for like more of a macro shot. Now I didn't want to go out and spend lots of money on a macro lens if I'm not going to use it. So perhaps, perhaps I will in the future. But for now, it's a, it's a cheaper alternative. It's, it's, it will help you see if that's what you want to do. And then you can always use them. You know, you've got your F4, uh, your F4 lenses, your 70 to 200s, you can put it on that. You don't, you know, it, I think what I'm saying is it can help your creativity. It can really help you get different shots, different styles. So I think I'm gonna swap out for that now. I think I'm gonna, I've seen some little mushrooms on the, um, growing off the side of this tree. And I also see some bigger ones down below. Now, I'm not 100% sure. What I would have loved was for a bit of sun, but they're on the wrong side. So I may just actually have a little look around the area now and uh, see if I can see some that are being lit up by the, the, the light coming through the back of the trees there. So yeah, excited. Let's have a go at macro, shall we? As you can see, I've got the I've got the extension tubes in between the lens on the camera. I've set up. I've gone to. I've put it on manual focus, unlike this camera. Uh, yeah, I've put it on manual focus, and I'm just I'm just the light's changing so much. So I'm waiting for the the light not to light it up per se, but just to maybe brighten up the sky a little bit to give it a bit more light. But what I've got at the moment is f4.5. Obviously, I want the, the absolute lowest. In fact, yep, I can go to f4. So I'm going to f4 on this lens. Um, that will give me that bokeh. Now, for those of you that don't know what the bokeh is, it's basically depth of field. Depth of field, the easiest way I can explain it is you have a subject up front, that sharp, the background blurred out. S simplest way, loads of videos on YouTube about it. Anyway, getting your lowest aperture will give you that nice bokeh. And that's what I've done. Now, I'm actually gonna take this shot a minute. Now, okay, so, what is quite difficult on macro is when you're on a subject, you can have a part of that subject pin sharp, but the rest of it is already losing the depth of field or getting depth of field. Um, so that can be quite difficult. So I'm gonna have a play with these settings, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can take it up to uh, F, I'm gonna say F8. Let's see what F8 does. I'm gonna refocus manually till I'm sharp. Now one thing, one thing I do need to do is just make sure stabilization's off. Now I'm at F8 at 1 13th of a second, two second timer, ISO 100. See what that looks like. When we finally sober, they'll be gone. Well, there you go, guys. That's um, a bit different. I think I'm going to try a few more if I can find anything. I'm going to start looking around for little bits for macro-y sort of. And I think I want to do some leaves, some dead leaves, some, some of the different colours of the autumn. Um, this isn't... I, I did have a little preconception in my head, just a tiny one of, you know, lots of fallen leaves, and there are, but they're in gullies here. And I'm sure I can do something, but there's a lot of bracken or fern or uh, whatever it is that's growing in between. So it's a bit difficult for me. And now it's starting pouring with rain as well. Hopefully I'll get some shelter in here. But um, yeah, I'm just going to have a wander around now, to be honest. I think I'm just going to handheld, just have a wander around, just see if I can find some different things. If I, if I do, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sit down and... and 
get camera out and go this that the other blah 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 uh well i'll put the settings next to the image um that way you can see what i was doing um and if i do it find anything that i think wow that's good how am i going to get it then we'll come back so yeah it's just to go and have another little wander i suppose come on then let's go Right guys, we're done. I'm just gonna carry on now. Put the video camera away, go and just have a look, see if I can hone my skills a little bit. Hopefully I can, hopefully it'll be a better video for you guys in the future in the woodlands. Um, but I've enjoyed it, I have enjoyed it. So out of this, hopefully you can see, I think the main reason for this one was literally about the, the cheap extension tubes. You know, you can change things up so easy and for su such a small amount. So have a look at them. Um, I'll, I'll put the link to the ones I got in the, the, the descriptions below. However, that's the Sony, so you'd need to check out for your own maker camera. But it, it really does help. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off. I'm going to go and get some more shots, mess about, have a look around the woodland, see what I can see. Hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. Um, all the new subs, hello. Thank you for coming along. Um, great to have you here. And that just leaves me to say, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever it is, it all helps. Thank you so much, guys. You take it easy and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.